All right, now that we've uh, had a overview of the series, let's uh, get going, shall we? Since we need to get those first tier upgrades done right away, you know what I mean? So once again, here is the breakdown of 75 total rewards broken down into 25% completion uh, increment. And once again, remember, you can pick up 8 gold, 25% completion with racing dollar upgrades alone in this limited time series. That is not always the case in, with new car limited time series. So even if you cannot afford gold upgrades, I would highly encourage you guys to uh, put those first tier up, uh, racing dollar upgrades and, you know, test drive the car if nothing else, you know what I mean? And pick up a few, I know, not a whole lot, but hey, it's eight gold more is better than not getting eight gold, right? So there you go, <laughs> public service announcement. Anyway, um, let's, uh, yeah, get going on putting some upgrades on this car since uh, it's gonna take a while. So here we go, base PR 79.2. And we'll start with engine, 132,800 racing dollars. And we get the PR boost of 0.4 PR points and uh, as three KPH to the top speed while shaving off two hundredths of a second in acceleration time. Drive train, 123,600 racing dollars. Uh, we get the 0.5 PR point boost. Uh, increase of 2 kph on top speed while shaving off 3 hundredths of a second in acceleration time. Body, uh, PR boost up just near 0.3 PR point. Uh, we do increase the top speed by 1 kph and the uh, acceleration time is decreased by 2 hundredths of a second. Or it will be once the upgrades are done. <laughs> and then the suspension, we get 0.4 PR point boost. And uh, let's see, increase grip of 0.02 G. And the uh, braking distance decreased by 0.3 meters. Right. Moving on. Exhaust. 120 or 112,000 racing dollars gets you PR boost of 0.4 PR points uh, while increasing the top speed by 2 kph and shaving off 2 hundredths of a second in acceleration time. Brakes, we get 0.4 PR point boost for 86,600 racing dollars. And the braking distance decreased by, um, what is that, 0.8 meters, so 80 centimeters. So that's good. And we also get a P, uh, the grip boost of 0.01 G. All right. Tires and wheels, we get 0.5 PR point boost uh, with the increased grip by 0.02 G and acceleration time decreased by 0.02 seconds for the cost of 104,000 racing dollars. Right, so um, let's uh, see what kind of Speed target, 230.3. All right. Should be, I mean, considering it's the first uh, challenge, should be easily doable, right? All right, and we're off. Right. 
Nope. That was a uh, rather poor driving there. But this is the fastest section of the circuit, so easily set the top speed. And then we can just uh, take it easy the rest of the way. Just bring it on home. Apparently that collision costed eight dollars. <laughs> Think about that one. That was a pretty severe collision if you know you ask me, but uh, apparently not severe in the game. Well, you know what? If they say so. Alright, it takes out two service bars for a lap around Melbourne. Let's continue on. Gold trophy number one of 45 necessary down. So let's go on to Hunter at Dubai. And see what kind of distance. 67 meters behind Sylvia. Of course, it's going to be at Hill Circuit. So another pretty short event. So I'm thinking I might just uh, run through right up to the, well, basically get through the tier two in this video as well, maybe. And uh, just park before the cup, because obviously we cannot make it past the second tier cup race without these 12 hour wait upgrades, you know what I mean? Wait. These uh, downhill corners. All right. Forty one meters behind Sylvia, which is Perfectly fine for picking up yet another gold trophy, which of course is my primary goal, as it should be yours. All right, and unfortunately, in race, um, unlike in race day event, I don't believe we're getting any. Uh, drafting bonus or you know slip streaming bonus i know and also the series limited time series is going to feature identical cars so we're only racing against fellow ford in this case and if you're running the ferrari you'll be running against the fellow ferrari racers i think but uh, maybe we're seeing some alternate liveries. I think those are just alternate liveries for Ford. But definitely there is no... Uh, drafting bonus here. And yeah, they are all Fords. be a pretty short single lap cup so yeah I'll uh, after this one I'll just kind of push my way to the, the second tier the first two events which should be pretty quick ones
I can catch up. So keep the margin of victory uh, a little bit tighter if we can help it. allow them to get up ahead. There we go. Nice and easy. Minute 49.041 for a single lap of rolling start race at Daytona Road Course. All right. So that's that takes out a few more service bars. All right, and let's see what we get in tier two because um, yeah, we have endurance and head to head that we can complete here. So sure, let's just go ahead and do it shall we since we cannot do the cup quite yet so let's find out what kind of target distance we have 5.6 kilometers so that's another five and a half service bars that's going to be taken out if i just complete the bare minimum here What a beast of a machine, right? All right, here we go. And to cover 5.6 kilometers, I'm expecting I should probably make six overtakes. Should be enough, maybe. With this car, I feel like it should be enough. So obviously, we move pretty quick. And cover a fair bit of distance. or something like that, somewhere around there. Alright, so I think that was a sixth overtake, right? I wanna say. So we got about a minute to left on the clock and we need to cover another couple of kilometers, which should be easily doable, so no more overtaking. I don't think I need to do that anymore. also going to be receiving some uh, lap bonus. About 10 seconds I think about. Yeah. I wasn't paying a whole lot, uh, all that close of an attention so <laughs> I might have misread that. Alright, looks like we're going to have some time to kill actually. go another 17 16 15 seconds left on the clock and we have reached our destination so we'll just uh, park here and just uh, burn out the remaining however many seconds there we go that should do it exactly 5.6 kilometers Importantly, 
How many service bars? Uh, yes. It does take out... Yeah, as I was saying. Another like five and a half service bars or something like that. Um, so after head to head here at Silverstone International, I feel like I can put the car in for service while we're waiting for the upgrades to be done anyway. All right. Same exact number too, look at that, both 68. All right, we're now uh, racing our doppelganger. I'll stay behind JKR. That is until uh, we get to the nice open straight. Hangar straight, that is, of course. Trophy. Of course, head to head, we only either get first or second place. Win or lose. So if you lose, you don't actually get like a silver trophy. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> All right. So, a binary option on head to head. Anyway, that does put the car. Slightly in red, but as I said, we're going to be waiting for the upgrades to be done in order to make our way through the, what do you call it, the cup here, right? Um, yeah, as you can see, the, my PR shows up in red, which means uh, not possible. So... We'll have to return once the at least some of the upgrades are done. So, uh, we'll, so I'll just jump on over to the other limited time series on my other account on Ferrari side of things. So stay tuned for the Ferrari playthrough on that one. So see you in a little bit. Stay tuned. <laughs> 